Muslim woman, 26, is sentenced to death by hanging for blasphemy in Pakistan after sending caricatures of Prophet Muhammad over WhatsApp. Here's a summary of the article. A Muslim woman has been sentenced to death in Pakistan for sending caricatures of Prophet Muhammad over WhatsApp, a court said. Blasphemy is an act punishable by the death sentence in Muslim-majority Pakistan, although an execution has never been carried out for the crime. Up to 80 people are known to be jailed in Pakistan on blasphemy charges, half of whom face life in prison or the death penalty, according to the U.S. Commission on International Religious Freedom. Pakistan has strict blasphemy laws which carry a death penalty for people who insult the Prophet Muhammad, Islam, the Quran or certain holy people. The Pakistan Penal Code states, whoever by words, either spoken or written, or by visible representation or by any imputation, innuendo, or insinuation, directly or indirectly, defiles the sacred name of the Holy Prophet Muhammad shall be punished with death, or imprisonment for life, and shall also be liable to fine. In December, a Sri Lanka factory manager working in Pakistan was beaten to death and set ablaze by a mob after being accused of blasphemy. Priyanta Kumara was accused by factory workers of desecrating posters bearing the name of Islam's Prophet Muhammad. The lynching was widely condemned by Pakistan's military and political leadership, prominent social and religious figures and civil society members. This post received a score of 50,000, with an upvote ratio of 89%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Pakistan's gonna flip when they see the rest of the internet. They're busy. Pakistan has the world's highest consumption of internet porn. Damn who snitched. Despite what the top reply says, it was not Facebook. It's amazing how much misinformation gets upvoted on Reddit, especially when it's people complaining about other social media sites having misinformation. Let me translate that. He wanted to fuck her. She turned him down. This happened. My thoughts exactly. A nice guy. Typical insult. Whoever was on the other end of the WhatsApp convos is a certified snitch and a half imagine sending a friend or family member some dank meme and they rat on you. Think about the energy some dudes give off when they're rejected. Now imagine the woman who rejected them had sent some content that could land that woman in trouble. Not so hard to imagine now. What year is it? This is madness. For Muslims it is 1443. Not even joking. Ah almost time to start EU4. I had to tell a friend who wanted to do stunts while visiting Saudi Arabia such as filming himself walking in public and drinking beer how much it is not a joke in conservative Islamic countries. Not a joke is an understatement. That could literally get him killed. Absolutely ridiculous sentenced to death for sending some pictures who in their right mind thinks this is okay religious fundamentalists they said right mind well they usually do lean to the right if by lean you mean move towards at light speed pakistan is pretty awful then the country that bin laden safely hid in for years no way the one where they give women less respect than we give to our pets because if our dog barks we let them outside but if a woman says something they defer to her husband? Can't be. The one that is, not only dumb enough to pay millions for fake bomb detectors, and then continues to use them, while they have an issue with suicide bombers? Come on. The blasphemy laws in a lot of these countries are insane. Many times it's not even real offenses it's just used as a way to take down someone you don't like. I am not religious but my father is Christian and when I was a kid he had a business dispute with a Muslim man and so the man decided to accuse him of blasphemy. We ended up having a mob at our door and a few days later my dad was arrested and later served a five-year jail sentence on some bullshit charges. When he got out we were able to make it to the US. This was in Egypt 20 years ago but it's not any better now. It recognizes five official religions, with Islam and Buddhism among them. It's just the majority is Muslim, so it behaves almost like a caliphate. It could have been a, she said he said, situation. Bonus, as part of the protest over her remarks, 11 Buddhist temples were torched in a riot. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.